Hello and welcome, this is Alistair Christie and in this video we're going to take a quick look at INI files as well as class properties with getter and setters and initialization and finalization sections of units. I have here a tiny little application that I have pre-written to save us a bit of time. Uh, all it does is load and save some settings out of an INI file. So we create our INI file and we're just checking it in the same directory as the application. Um, you can't really do that these days because of uh, Windows Vista, but it's nice and easy, so we're doing it. Um, and we load the settings, and of course we free in the form destroyed. Now settings is just a uh, TINI file, a private member, and it's included in INI files. And in load, we load some settings out of the INI file and in save we save them. Um, if I run this I can change that and go load and it changes it back. And we can save settings and load them and so on. It, not exciting. Now there are plenty of things wrong with this application. Um, but the one I want to talk about is the fact that, let's say if I change that, remove the U, and run it, it compiles fine, but of course it's not going to behave um, as we want. So let's just undo that. Um, basically there's no um, sort of code completion or anything like that um, on the, these values. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, new class, um, which we're going to put some properties on, which uh, load and save INI settings. So let's get file new unit, and we're going to need to use INI files. Okay, and there's our basic uh, class definition. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a global variable. variable. settings and I'm going to do um, something quite lazy. I'm going to create an initialization setting, um, initialization area and and just do it lazy. that out of there. Uh, we need to find unit. And on that one too. And I'll oh, also add a finalization section. So basically when the application starts, we create it, and when it closes, uh, we free it. Um, now we can pretty much just go back to uh, this and get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Go now at this point, uh, our application should run pretty much exactly the same. Okay, 
Okay. Now, what we want to do is create a couple of properties on here. Uh, public property So we want a, we want both a getter and setter. And oops, that needs to be type string. And I'll press Control Shift C and it will create those two for us. that. The set was it? Yep. And uh, get a Okay, and now we can go back to our, our original form, and we can say text and if we run that it works exactly the same and we want to write another property so let's go back up here and Some integer set some integer and control shift C and that creates our getter and setter and we do a little copy and paste that and that's some integer Okay, and we can run that. Save, load, load not working. Load is working. What am I saying? Yes, there we go. Um, so that's basically what I wanted to show you. So your application uh, might have um, INI settings peppered through it, which are read string and write string. And if you're doing that in multiple places, um, there's potential for a lot of mistakes. Um, if I now, what do we do with some? That was some number, but anyway, if I got rid of the eye on that, that's no longer going to comply, um, compile. Um, and that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. This video is a bit rough. Uh, I guess not having done one for a while, I'm a bit out of practice. But I hope you find it useful all the same.